Hello friends, it's Gwen. Today I'm going to do a top five Wednesday that I actually skipped. I believe it was last week's top five Wednesday. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and film it because I did have five horrible book covers um, set aside. I just didn't have the time to film it. So I'm going to film it now. Um, coming in at number five is Waking the Witch by Kelly Armstrong. And I haven't read this book, but it's about an orphaned girl um, from a witch that is like a paranormal researcher or something like that. Basically, this cover just totally blows. Um, the colors I love, because green is my favorite color. I mean, I'm wearing green today. But I love, love, love the colors, and I love that the font is, like, kind of metallic-y. But, number one, anytime there's, like, a real person on the cover, I'm not really a fan. And this one is, like, so 80s, like, the motorcycle and the crackling lightning and just what she's wearing and her position and her like her tank top and her hip like her hip poking out and just all of it it just her hair blown back and her facial expression I don't know just this whole thing is horrible and I was comparing it to under the never sky and like the hair what's up with the hair like I understand the windblown look but this one, at least she's wearing like all black and she's like walking. Um, but this one just, it's so 80s. And this book only came out in like 2010. So, I don't know. Bad cover. Really, really bad cover. And then, of course, it's on the spine too. So, that just makes it even worse. Coming in at number four, I'm choosing Donna Andrews' The Real McCall. Another terrible, terrible cover. Um... The pink with the parrot and the bottle and basically, I mean, you could tell from the cover, it's a lady who's living with her father and she's feeding her four month old um, twins and she comes downstairs like in the middle of the night or whatever and she sees all of these animals in the living room and she's like, what's going on? Why are all these animals in the living room? Well, a no-kill shelter was changing its policy, so her father, being the zoologist or whatever that he is, gathered all the animals and brought them to the house. Another book I have not read. I got it, like, at a bargain store. I don't quite remember, but um, the cover, horrible. Yeah. Coming in at number three is another book, I think I got the same time as the other one, um, is Wicked Sweet. I mean, oof. I just look at it. It's just terrible. I haven't even read it. I really don't know what it's about. Yeah. Coming in at number two is Arm Candy. And this is about a woman who, when she was younger, she basically had the chance to choose love and, you know, true love. But then she had this opportunity to choose a different guy and have money and a privileged life. And she chose that life. She chose to give up true love and happiness for glamour and fame. She ended up marrying, like, a famous artist or something like that. And... Obviously, her life, she's kind of, she, I think it's like coming up on her 40th birthday, and she's, you know, kind of realizing, like, you know, maybe I made a mistake, maybe I should have chosen, you know, true love. And she has an opportunity to, you know, old flame resurfaces, and she must decide if she wants the life she's living and loving right now, or the love she left behind. So, another book I haven't read, but the cover is just... And coming in at number one, yesterday I actually finally picked up this book. I got it because of my GPA at my school was a certain level and basically I'm pretty smart, I guess they say. So um, they sent us a letter in the mail and this was like last spring. They were like, hey, we, we want to recognize you for your GPA and how smart you are, blah, blah, blah. Um, we have a present for you waiting in the dean's office. You just have to come pick it up. And, of course, I went to the dean's office 
probably 10 times. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, I would go with my friends to the dean's office. I would go by myself to the dean's office. I would go in the morning. I would go in the afternoon. I would go in the evening. And I could never catch the dean's office even being open. It was always, oh, they've already left for the day. Or, oh, they didn't come in today. Or, oh, they're at a conference. Or, oh, they're teaching a class. Or, whatever. There were like a million excuses. But yesterday, I happened to be on campus for a meeting, and I was like, oh my goodness, if I get there early, maybe I can catch someone in the dean's office. So I go into the dean's office, and I walk in, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm Gwen, I'm here for my present, my surprise present for being awesome. And they're like, oh yeah, we have plenty of them left. And as soon as I said that, I was like, it's a piece of junk. Whatever they're going to give us, it's a piece of junk. And she hands me this little package, and it's, like, shaped, and I'm like, of course. I'm like, it's a book. It's a book. Oh, my gosh. It's a book. I'm so excited. And then I open it up, and I see this. And I was like, oh, this is one of those books that have the person on the back that tells you how to be awesome when I already know how to be awesome. But this is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Powerful Lessons and Personal Change by Stephen R. Covey. And anytime you see these self-help type books, they have the title in one color, the rest of the book is white, or the diet books. Like I remember the South Beach diet book looking exactly like this. And then they have the little gold seal. This is horrible, people. No one wants to read a book like this. We all know it's like a self-help piece of... And, and then it always has the guy on the back or the woman on the back. Usually a guy because a woman would at least try to come up with a better cover. So, yeah. So, books like this, when I know that it's one of those self... Like, I just don't even like it. The font's not even nice. I, it's terrible. Okay. So, what are your pet peeves with book covers? What's the most horrible book cover you've ever seen? Um, I have been checking out some of your videos. Sorry for posting late, but better late than never, right? I hope you have a happy day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.